Sandy Sedana, Vice President Shavera. Ngayon po ay mapagod tayo na parating na si Dr. Edgardo Ipomez. He is Professor Emeritus, University Professor Emeritus of the Marine Science Institute. So, as may I be asking to present, shall we give him a welcoming hand? I should not start my talk with an apology, but uh, there was a, a mini flood along C5, which uh, kept me from arriving here. Uh, during uh, Hamagat, I was here at UB on one day, and I know we get take one hour to get home from here to Montegrupa. That evening, it took me three hours to get home. Uh, today, normally come, I usually get here within an hour. It took me two hours to get here. So I suppose this is uh, uh, something we have to begin to, to uh, uh, cope with. Um, I have two sort of questions here. Um, actually, what happened was, uh, um, I had a different notion as to what exactly I was supposed to try to cover. So I started. I had started my, my PowerPoint, and then I reread the later communications, and I said, <laughs> So I had to go back and retool that, and then uh, so what I have here is a bit of a patched up uh, presentation. I'm, unfortunately, I don't have any any actual uh, photos and so on. I, these are just questions, and it is very prosaic. Um, so it will come in two parts. The other thing I thought I would do for you is to, uh, uh, for those of you who don't know my, my background, I thought I would say very briefly where I'm coming from. Maybe we come from very different sectors. Uh, I'm sort of from the natural science side of the, of the campus. Uh, I've been teaching mostly graduate uh, courses, very limited on graduate teaching. Uh, the middle bullet here, I think, is uh, what I sort of take uh, pride in, and that's the Marine Science Institute. And I've been in uh, different committees of the system, the campus, the college, and, and then, of course, uh, more recently, if some of you sometimes see me walking around campus, I'm helping to uh, beautify our uh, UP my campus. <laughs> uh, that's another story. I can talk to you about that in a different Okay, let's see what happened in the first bahagi of my talk, and I, I sort of just uh, uh, came up with a few questions here uh, about the university. Um, and uh, some of these are meant to provoke, <laughs> incite, uh, anger, whatever, uh, and, and maybe tickle or tease some, some people. And I'm not sure I'm going to answer all of them. I say, uh, number one, do you think the constituents overrate themselves and their university? Um, you know, when I was reading this thing about uh, the, uh, the, the background of this, uh, there was this thing about the TAC UP, and also, uh, I think during Centennial, uh, some people were, were running around campus uh, with their with their t-shirts saying, I'm going to UP, or something like that. Uh, to me, all of these are uh, indicative of the answer to the first the bullet there. Now, the second bullet is something I thought I might uh, uh, sort of uh, bring to your attention. And it's uh, uh, why do people fear comparison with the best in the world? Uh, you know, I remember uh, I was at, uh, uh, I think it was either a campus or a system wide conference, and uh, we were talking about improving teaching. And uh, I made a, a comment about uh, we need to have uh, evaluators or peers from the outside evaluate us. And my uh, intervention uh, drew some uh, very negative reactions from some of the senior faculty and says, well, why should we do that? We are already the best. You know, something like this. Anyway, uh, uh, the third bullet here is uh, Okay, uh, again, this is one of the things I sometimes uh, complain about. I mean, are we fostering some kind of uh, divisiveness or 
even tribalism in the university, whether consciously or unconsciously. And to me, one, one, uh, one uh, indication of this is uh, uh, I have no great appreciation for our fostering some of the fraternities that uh, fight one another and uh, what one is better than the other, and they go to the extent of hurting members of the other fraternities. To me, this is, this, uh, this is divisiveness. You might be fostering loyalty to a particular frat or sorority or whatever, but are you are you promoting unity in the university? Are we promoting you know unity as a people? Or are we trying to again allow or enhance this sort of what I call tribalism? And then uh, uh, okay the last bullet again I said criticize why is there so much criticism and cynicism in the UP? And uh, okay uh, this is for uh, Director Kienza says, is, does this question apply to this forum? Well, I'm not going to uh, answer that, just, just raise that question. But uh, let, let me go on with my talk. Well, of course, let me say something about something more positive, what I like about the UP. And uh, there it is. You know, there's a lot of uh, uh, brain power on this campus, and I have great fun interacting with leaders and uh, people who are intelligent and who are willing to listen and uh, share opinions and so on. Uh, the open-mindedness are uh, the open mind of people with respect to national issues. You know, I mean, we may, we can agree to disagree. Okay, I think it's important. I mean, in an academic study, you can, you can do with that. Now, uh, a part, part of the thing here is that, that as you know, uh, you're aware of the issues now with the uh, Catholic Church and uh, Catholic universities. Okay? There is at least, I think, an attempt on the part of some people in the hierarchy to try to control the minds of the people in the Catholic universities with respect to the RH bill. Uh, this would never happen in the uh, UP campus. Okay. And then, well, of course, uh, the third bullet is uh, my uh, Sort of area in the natural sciences. Uh, you know, one of the reasons I accepted uh, the invitation to uh, be at one of your discussions here is I didn't know about the first thing about the third world study center. <laughs> uh, apologies to uh, uh, President Nemenso. So I thought I might as well uh, get a little bit uh, exposed and uh, and uh, attacked if necessary by the uh, non-natural scientists. So that I can, we can see this interplay, and I'll have, have some. I have a better appreciation for uh, uh, the, what the Third World Study Center is uh, doing and what the social sciences as a whole are sort of uh, concerned with. Uh, and of course, the last book there is uh, what I like about you. Yeah, like campus. Uh, I think I've had many, many foreign visitors who come here and say after they visited uh, the Lima campus, and they said this is a beautiful campus. And so one of my tasks now is to help enhance that beauty even further. That's, that's a sort of a, uh, part of my tasks as a retired uh, university professor. Okay, um, now um, I put your recommendations with respect to the broad foreign question. Um, okay, part of the, this is the last part of the First, the first part of my talk, which I said was, uh, um, it was maybe not quite answering the uh, focus of the forum, but still, in all, I thought I would share this with the uh, with the uh, audience here, and um, this sort of uh, this seems to be a discussion, a debate about public service and what the university is all about, and are, are we doing enough, and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, well, let me start with just saying that uh, what, what should the UP uh, be doing? And uh, I think in the first instance, we should be recruiting the best minds in university and from all over. And what I mean by that for university is that from within and from outside the campus. And then uh, we should strive to be among the best, yeah, among the top universities of the world 
and remove obstacles that hinder this process. Uh, finally here, uh, lead the country, not because we are the best in the country, but because we are among the best in the world. Uh, to me, it's like raising the bar. Okay, that, uh, okay magaling na tayo dito sa Pilipinas, uh, and therefore we are uh, sort of fit to lead the country. Uh, well, what I'm trying to say here is that we should go to the next step up. We should be among the best in the world, and therefore we can lead the country better. Now, uh, I think this is uh, when I realized that I was preparing the wrong talk. Uh, so I did the second, second uh, part was. Uh, uh, now, uh, the question actually posed for this particular, this is the first session, is it? Is, uh, uh, is there role to serve profit in, uh, and is what, what Coco is doing for the country? And I think the obvious answer is yes. Uh, and uh, well, then I ask the next question, I hope not. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, I think that the obvious answer is yes. And well, then I ask the next question, Okay. So, the um, 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 uh, who defines best and what is best? <coughs> and, um, well, uh, different leaders necessarily differ in their platforms and who are qualified to evaluate them. Uh, you see, uh, different folks, different strokes. But I think uh, what, what we use what I have seen, I've been through how many presidents since SP, uh, you know, the SP, OB, OL, well, more than half a dozen presidents. I've seen them come and go and so on. And some have their good points and not so good points. Some have better points and some have, et cetera, et cetera. But I think all of them, including, of course, President Mustard here, have done their best to, to do uh, well by the university. And, and I think all of them have have moved the university forward, and uh, I think that's the only way. That's the only way to go. Okay. Uh, actually, I, I decided to, to have a rather rather uh, short presentation, and I said public service anyway, because it, was, it seems to be what we're getting at today. <clears throat> and uh, here's where maybe some people might uh, take issue with what I I put up here. And that is, uh, a university will do, or this university will do the best public service to its people by becoming one of the best universities in the world. Ako, sa tingin ko, our best public service to this country is to be among the top universities in the world. Okay. Uh, ngayon, yung pangalawang bullet dito, <coughs> public service in the sense of it, you know what it It's not to be from the farm. Okay, it is important, but it is not the prime concern of the UP, in my opinion. There are specialized public service institutions in government that should be strengthened. And Siguro, um, what I would you know, as uh, a uh, sorry, vice president, the <laughs> uh, <coughs> was talking, uh, one of the things that well, in relation to the to the second to the second bullet that came to my mind is like, why are we doing this? Is it a criticism that the institutions that are tasked to do the disaster management and so on are failing to do their work adequately? I think that's the problem. Yung pagkulang hindi sa atin, yung pagkulang dun sa labas. Okay. Now institutions like CSWCD should be helping, focusing on training these people in public service so that they do their job well. Disaster management, you know, there's a national disaster control, whatever, uh, office. There should be the ones there in uh, Iligan and Tagayan de Oro. I mean, why send NICS and uh, all of the UP units there? Well, okay, it's an emergency, kailangan yung tulong. 
but it is, in my opinion, is that our major prime responsibility. I think we can do our work best by getting at those people, looking at their manpower, looking at their, their organizational structure, and recommend to them how they can best do their jobs or how, how they can improve what it is that they're, they're supposed to be doing. You know, um, uh, coming again from the natural sciences so on and, and what my, my sort of experience has to you know, trying to raise the bar and so on. Um, I think I would, what I would like to see happening more and more in this university is culture of excellence in any, anything and everything that we do. You know, I would like to see excellent janitors. I would like to see excellent carpenters. I would like to see ex excellent gardeners. But also excellent teachers and researchers. Okay? It has to go the whole, the whole uh, gamut. You know, from the lowest to the highest. Kailangan lahat ang ginagawa nila is tatak excellent. If we do that, I think that's our best public service to this country. 